Today I would like to make a presentation of the role of SDI in special planning. As our chairman mentioned that I'm from the Turkish Minister of Environment and Urbanization. Actually this paper is a common paper with a professor from the Black Sea University. Today, um, Yeah, I think it works. Huh? We would like to make a presentation with this outline. Okay, uh, importance, dynamics, and structure of NSTI, the state of play in Turkey. Effectiveness in special planning requires STI with an explanation. And how can we uh, use the guidance of Inspired Directive in this topic? I would like to explain this in the case study on Nialava and overall assessment and recommendation. In modern cities, STI is inevitable in sustainable urban management with a view to supplying rapid, high quality and efficiency services. So, uh, if we just make the re remindings about the S NSTI, what is NSTI? It's an infrastructure. It requires interoperability. NSTI actors as mostly data suppliers and users. And the services of NSTI are main procedures for process, analysis, and provision of special data. And in NSTI, there is no central unit for data producing. It's recommended that all actors will be responsible for their own data. These are the basic things all, I think all of us are already know. Just refresh up our memories. We can also group the NSTI structure in this way. When you look at the urban STI part, this part, it more refers to local STI producers. Um, special data producers, in the periphery more represent the central uh, authorities and mostly on, based on land data. Also we can focus on the marine data and that there are in this marine SDI part you can see some institutions who are producing marine SDI in Turkey. What is the uh, state plate of in Turkey now? The NSTI scene in Turkey has been fragmented for a long time. While various institutions have been producing spatial data, only some of them contribute to the spatial data infrastructure in Turkey. Over the past years, several initiatives were taken to develop components of the NSTI and to implement INSPIRE. More recently, the Minister of Environment and Urbanization began coordinating the implementation of the INSPIRE Directive and SDI at the national level. The ministry, our ministry, runs two main projects, uh, which is Turkish NSDI and urban information systems. I would like to explain all these examples in case study Yalova. You can see some basic figures of Yalova. Actually, it's a city vis-a-vis -vis to Istanbul at the Marmara Sea. And uh, mostly the touristic thermal facilities uh, main uh, and attractive functions. Why I choose as a case study? First of all, in 1999, Yellow experienced a terrible earthquake and then uh, get some lessons learned from that. It used to be a very attractive city and it lost the population. Then now the local authority have willingness uh, to develop Yellow. And the Yalova has a place to have many variety of special plans like coastal plans, uh, micro scale plans, and natural conservation plans as well. And it, she needs a disaster mitigation plan as well. Uh, let's look at the special planning profile of Yalova very shortly. It is a very long uh, special planning profile, but uh, we can also, I can also give some uh, flash uh, issues like that. I mean, uh, we newly experienced some restructuring in Turkey. Our former ministry is the Public Works and Settlement, and the Public Works and Settlement has already approved and prepared a micro scale plan for the Yalova, and after 1999 earthquakes, it's uh, reviewed. 
And after 2004, and also the municipality of Yalova and the uh, provincial general council approved and also larger scale plan recently. And the Ministry of Public Works and Settlements also approved larger scale plan for uh, using the integrated coastal zone management, but this was canceled uh, via the litigation process now. Our ministry is in charge in a process to update this larger scale plan. In the meantime, Minister of Public Works and Settlement, which is our former form, also uh, was responsible for preparing uh, implementation plan of the uh, permanent and temporary housing units after the earthquake. Special planning profile of Yolova is also remarkable in terms of coastal plans. Also, our ministry is in charge of preparing these plans. You can see the one recent plan from Yolova. This is from the center. And the Minister of Public Works and Settlement approved various coastal area plans. Even now, we are continuing uh, in accordance with the coastal law. Now, uh, Yolova experienced not only Yalova, but also many cities in Turkey, a chaos in special planning, because especially after 2005, there are some institutions get some uh, planning authorities, and all institutions start to approve some plans. This creates some chaos. Uh, I don't want to bother you with these details, but you can find, I think, the presentation later on. And in order to solve this chaos, as an oldest planning authority, our ministry published a circular in 2008 uh, in order to solve the confusion and conflicts between different planning authorities. So, when we look at the problematic areas of special planning in Yalova, but not only Yalova, but since our case study is Yalova, also in Turkey, uh, planning process is time consuming. Litigations after the approval of plan also create many chaos and the suspended conditions. Conflict among various planning authorities create another uh, chaos in implementation. Difficulties in bringing local plans in complying with larger scale plans. Larger scale plans approved by the ministry, but implementation plan is done by local authorities. There are some problems sometimes. Implementation and control of the uh, plans uh, compared to the development of the settlement. Difficulty is to integrate risk mitigation methods into the special plans. Now, uh, what can SCI provide for the special planning problems? It can provide, first of all, saving time and relevant resources in preparation, ratification and announcement process of special plans a reliable spatial data archive for updating and exchanging the data among various institutions. Interoperability among various planning authorities requires a standard for metadata that we don't have a standard yet. Minimizing problems in implementation of plans. Better opportunity to control and audit developments and providing opportunity to integrate disaster mitigation issues into special plans. Uh, the major question, is the Inspire Director able to help? Uh, also, I have some recommendations for that. Yes, uh, the Inspire Director can be helpful, especially in, um, in terms of regulation of inter interoperability and metadata. Here in the, the metadata standards, you can see headings, many of you know. Uh, what we said that even we get these metadata standards in Turkey, at least we can uh, talk the similar language, although there are many various authorities to prepare special plans. And secondly, interoperability, also the code list as you know, also to create some synonym language for plan preparation authorities. This also decrease many problems, as I mentioned before. Actually, the Minister of Environment and Urbanization initiated a study on developing and updating of legends uh, for special plans at the country level. This study should be synthesized with the requirement of the uh, Directive of Interoperability. It would be great. I think it's still ongoing study, and uh, we believe that it will bring very beneficial results. 
So, uh, I, sh I also would like to give some examples of integration of disaster mitigation issues into the special plans via SDI. Actually, uh, we use this type of exercises in Yaloba, but let me uh, give a brief profile of Yaloba in terms of earthquakes. You can see the yellow in the uh, Turkey map. Yellow has high seismic risk, especially in terms of relatively short reoccurrence period of earthquakes, plant of fault lines, soil liquefaction and land amplification factors increase these risks. Then, you can see also the figures of casualties and injuries of Yalova only in 1999 earthquakes. It's, it's quite remarkable. And uh, what uh, increased the urban risk? I can also give some short headings. Land use and building norms are the problem areas that the local authorities did not comply with at that time. Inaccurate implementations of developers and building contractors misapplication of local authorities, inadequacy in institutional and public awareness. So, how can we, I mean, in 19, after 1999 earthquakes, we have some experiences to use SDI and GIS technology as well to prepare a better special plans. I would like to share this. In 1999, our ministry cooperated with the British Earthquake Consortium. So these are the studies we produced all together many years ago. Why not now? The better one for all Turkey. More examples. Also using the recent technologies with the 3D train uh, modeling based on satellite image will also be especially helpful. This is the coastal area to control and audit the coastal construction. This is also a very newly uh, organized study. Uh, a German company, colleague of mine, prepared uh, just a simulation or this uh, uh, analysis map. If uh, the earthquake triggered uh, to tsunami in yellow, what will happen? How can we organize the risky zones? This is a good example. This, is an, uh, uh, this study is pre prepared by the assumption within uh, six meter height waves. So this type of assumption and risk zones and analysis maps can easily be produced by using spatial data infrastructure or by using technology. These are just examples. So, uh, what is the overall assessment and recommendation? In the meantime, this map is prepared by the um, municipality of Yalova and the special authority, uh, special, uh, authority in 2007. This is also a digital map. Preparing reliable analytical maps before the preparation of the plan. Defining clearer boundaries of various land use areas. This was the opportunities of using SDI. Facilitating integration of disaster mitigation issues into the special plans such as microzoning. And providing a clear base map to monitor and control the development in the settlement. So, uh, thanks for your interest. Welcome your comments. If you would like to contact with me and my, with my partner, these are our coordinates. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hebro, for the presentation, which was very clear and was touching myself, not only in terms of science but, uh, and technology, but also because, uh, as Italian, you know how sensible we are to earthquakes and uh, sure. to the management of disasters and so on. So it's a commonality of uh, some uh, nations just uh, of the Mediterranean area, you know. Uh, questions, please? There is a microphone for... Uh, if not, I, I, I have a question. Um, yes, I was just taking a note. Um, you focused... I was very impressed by the fact that uh, you you were just uh, focusing on the, on the marine uh, um, part yes, also, marine, uh, say, component of, of, of a spatial data infrastructure. This is because uh, 
the, the, why this? How come? Because the population density, because the competence of the ministry, because earthquake, because, I mean, this is a very... Uh, I think you are talking about the grouping of at the beginning. Yes. It's a yes. conceptual approach. Actually, this is my partner's approach, but I also agree with him. In some way, it is believed that if we focus on and divide the spatial data into marine and land, it would be more beneficial because the land's spatial data has some different dynamics and marine different dynamics. That's why we made two divisions for the usage and for the different features. And you are treating the two SDIs or, I mean, the two types of SDIs in a different way or? Uh, it, not only in terms of data, but for instance in terms of services also, or, or the services are, uh, are shared between, are absolutely the same? Actually, um, I think uh, after maybe in the coffee break with my partner, we will give a better and very technical detailed answer. I'm so sorry that my partner okay. is not oh, okay, here, okay. but I can only aware of the function. But uh, please don't forget your questions and we will try to explore the real uh, technical details because later if, on, if you don't mind. No, absolutely. Thank you. It's a very, it's a very important and crucial point. You know, I, because I will let him know. Actually, I, I want to somewhere around, but not in this okay. hall, I think. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.